How are you? I'm good. How are you? Girl, it's good to have you back. I know. It's good to be back. Seriously, this is like, you know, I, I don't know. You're not comfort food. How dare I call you that? But a new album, Bionics, out in June. I'm looking at the cover art right now. You it's look like very a, exciting. You look like a hot librarian robot. It's very exciting. <laughs> Wait till you see the inside when it comes out. It's oh. very exciting. I know I've been sitting on this record because I've been working on the movie. So the whole last year for me has been a huge um, year of preparation for this year to come. And finally getting to release it all is really exciting. Oh, wait. Oh, and you're a mom, too. We can't forget about that. You have those responsibilities as well. Oh, uh, so many different hats. Yes, yeah, since the last record, too. I've become a mom, a wife, um, you know, an actress the first movie and um, now bionic which is a whole different feel and attitude and visual experience different producers the whole thing oh yeah 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 Lot, lots of collaborations mia santa gold um sia who i love singer songwriter sia we did so many things uh together and i had such a blast on this record just everything being a different feel for me i really wanted to tap into uh futuristic elements and using a lot of electronic sounds and feels and i got really inspired by that type of music and um you know i just really wanted a fun playful futuristic album so um i definitely accomplished that i'm really excited for everyone to hear it i was gonna say i can hear the excitement you are so honestly and truly excited to be back and to have this album come out and i can tell all the hard work that you can put that you put into it just by the way you sound <laughs> You're so proud. You're so just like, I cannot wait. And yet we have to wait until June until the yeah. album comes out. I know, but you'll have a video and the full single very soon So uh, to hold everybody over. And um, it will feature the new look and the new sound. And and uh, the new single really does, uh, you know, sum a lot of it up. You know, it's it's definitely a new me. It's uh, tapping into my wild side a little bit again. You know, being on the movie kind of... Um, you know, having to tap into a different character and somebody completely outside of myself, it was, you know, it was a little stifling at times because I'm used to being able to kind of express myself through music and lyrics and and um, constantly, you know, I'm able to release any stories or inspirations that I have through what I do as a musician. And then becoming an actress, you know, it was, it was stifling at times because it was all about my character and not about me. So now that it's album time, I am so ready to hit the ground running and um, Not Myself Tonight is the perfect first single because of the fact that, um, you know, it just it speaks to me in the sense that finally um, you know, it's not about someone else and it's sort of about breaking away the chains of anything, you know, behind that wasn't you or whatever and it really spoke to me i was done with my album before i went in to shoot the movie completely and uh then by the time i neared the end of the the film i was like you know what i i want tracks i'm i'm a different person now i'm newly inspired and i grew a lot on the movie and learned a ton so I'm, i definitely left the movie a different person so you basically tossed everything away that you'd already done did you keep any of it or did it all oh, just get no 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 of course I kept a, okay. uh, I kept the majority of it. I just uh, um, I was fortunate enough. I was like, you know, just send send over some tracks. I'm I'm feeling like writing. I really want to, you know, tell the stories that that um that have been happening to me or, or how I feel about the place I'm in now. And I ended up with like three or four uh, new songs that just I fell in love with that really spoke to me as the new Christina, the evolved Christina after the movie. So it was really fun for me to tap into that. Um, and Not Myself Tonight is is really perfect because it truly is an expression of that and, and just, you know, getting to be a little bit wild and let loose. Is again. it strange not yet being 30 but being a veteran of pop music? Does that kind of freak you out? Like, what the hell is this? Um, I mean, it's 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 a blessing to be able to have been so successful so young, you know. But um, but uh, you know, I don't really think about that. But you know, when I did think about that, is when I was on the film, there was like a 19-year-old choreographer, and there were you know um, everybody. It was it was like a constant, like, oh, how old are you? Oh, 23, 24, and I'm 29, and it's all of a because all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, I'm not the youngest person around here anymore. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was quite a reality check, and it was a little weird. When your child uh, grows up, is there anything you're going to have to explain? Like, listen, mommy was in this time in her life, and this is, listen, you know, this is what I did. Is there anything that you will go back and be like, ooh, ooh, don't, you know what? You don't need to see that. That was how mommy was doing something. <laughs> this this was mommy's job. This is what she had to do. Or is it the kind of thing, hey, I'm your mom. This is what I did. You know, you enjoy that car you drive. Uh, look, that's what we did. Yeah, definitely. Um Number two that you said. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, he's going to grow up knowing that, you know, mommy expresses herself, uh, you know, as an artist. And a lot of my uh, self-expression happens to uh, revolve around, you know, being comfortable with my sexuality. And whether he wants to see it or not, I mean, he won't have to. But he's definitely going to grow up in the environment of women should be able to express themselves how they feel and not be ashamed for it. So, you know, I mean, I feel like, all, you know, my whole thing for years now has been, you know, there's too many rules and regulations and judgments upon women and, you know, men through, you know, history and society shaming women for, you know, feeling comfortable with themselves and they should, you know, uh, watch what they say or do because they're going to get labeled for it. So I'm definitely, you know, gearing my son up to not have those kinds of viewpoints and being able to respect women to um, express themselves how they feel they should ne- or how they feel necessary. You and, are going to um, be the most popular mom 12 years from now. When your son gets home from school with his friends, you're the mom in the bikini making Hot Pockets. You are going to be... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> It's going to be you. Come on, you're going to have the, you know, not just because you have all the cool video games at your house, just because, like, mom's walking around in a swimsuit. Like, you know, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Well, yeah, mommy will always be comfortable with herself. But, but yeah, um, well, you know, he, he, but he's, he's going to grow up, you know, respecting women. And, and my husband's very supportive with that, too. So, um, you know, and it's work. It's also work in one of the many hats that I wear. So, um, you know. And for your film role, didn't you actually go into a strip club and do, quote-unquote, I have air quotes going, research on the role? Oh, that's so funny. Is that a rumor or something? I just saw that online. Oh, wow, that's funny. Um, yeah, that's a total rumor. I, oh. I didn't. Um, Damn! But I, you know, I have been to strip clubs and whatnot before. But, no, I didn't go into any of it for this movie. But I learned a lot as a dancer, though, on this movie. There was a lot of uh, choreography, and, and I got the opportunity to work with, like, five different new choreographers at once. And it was really fun to open myself up to that. And uh, I definitely... I don't know. I, I I really feel like I'd never even danced before before this movie. Really? Well, because... you're, you're really good. So, wow, that's amazing that you felt like that. Yeah, I, I really did. I I danced my ass off in this movie, and it was really fun. And um, you know, just to explore that. You know, I've always been a singer first and foremost, and then I sprinkled some dancing in here and there. But it was never a priority for me or something. I. I saw that interesting or that I was that passionate about. But doing this movie, I really explored dancing a lot. And um, and uh, I learned a lot about, you know, the proper terms for things and critiquing, uh, you know, um, movements and, and what was, you know, proper technique. And it was just really interesting. I learned so much as a dancer on this movie. So now after the movie, you can now do the uh, Tootsie Roll and the electric slide, which has before you could not do that. So now it, it <laughs> taught you so much. Now at a wedding, you are a superstar. You are silly. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's me. Bionic out in June. Cannot wait to hear the rest of the album. On Z100. Awesome, girl. Thank you so much. We, we can't wait to see you in New York in person. Take care, okay? All you the best. You too. I'm missing New York. See Thanks, ya. guys. Bye. Bye.